everybody, it's Jane, and I'm back. I've taken a little bit of a break since before Christmas. <laughs> I actually haven't, um, I made some videos up ahead by Christmas, and then even after Christmas, I started right in and cleaning my craft room. I, I've had the messiest craft room that I couldn't even get in here to work. So I've been working out in the living room, which is not good for filming. Uh, but anyway, uh, I ordered this crossword puzzle book so that I could do this um, challenge this year. I don't know, uh, you know, I'm good at starting things. I don't know how far I'll get or if I'll keep doing it or uh, maybe I'll just do what I've been doing in collage monthly. <laughs> I don't know, but this is what I've been doing, and this was week one. Um, it was actually, whoops, no, this was week one. What happened is, is when I bought the book and I got it, I realized I had two books in one. So this is, um, this is what I decided to do. <laughs> I'm doing two collage challenges and this one is the crossword challenge and I could tie it into what went on this week or I could tie it in to nothing <laughs> which uh which I've done <laughs> so anyway on this one here the very first one I went to my daughter's house for New Year's Day and had pork and sauerkraut for good luck and uh, which is our tradition and they were busy when I got there cleaning out closets and I was like oh my goodness oh I would just love to be doing that and uh, so what I did is um, I came home and I started cleaning out my art room because um, I couldn't get in here. So I thought, well, I'll start with the art room, then I'll work my way around to closets and so forth. So anyway, this is kind of a, uh, a busy-looking room here that's uh, in need of tidying up. And it is the first one, so I use this for a pocket. And this is my daughter's house, and I kept telling her to throw out things. <laughs> <laughs> throw out these gloves, throw out that scarf. It looks, it's it's had its day. So I sent her um, a pair of mittens and a, and a scarf so that she would have new ones uh, because she had to throw out the ones <laughs> I told her to. So anyway, so that's, that's my pictures here. And then I said New Year. And the idea here for the, um, for the crossword puzzle is that you kind of fill in crosswords. <laughs> so I have House and Ryan, uh, my grandson, was there in Diane's. Uh, uh, it was Diane's house. It was so fun that day. And then when I got home, a Piggy Me, who <laughs> makes a big mess all the time, but uh, that really isn't the reason it's there. It's there for the pork and the sauerkraut. So anyway, so that was my little tag, and then I wrote down a little bit about what I did. So that was week one, and I have three weeks here. This was week two, and what started this one off is that I woke up one morning, and the whole room was orange, and it was shining in my eye. And I jumped up, and I went out, and I saw the most magnificent um sunrise i just i just could not believe it it was so beautiful and i ran back in the house got my camera tried to take some movies and pictures they all came out blurry my camera would not focus i don't know whether <laughs> it might have been me because i was woken up out of a sound sleep but anyway um i have observing sunrise it was gorgeous red reds golds and um, it kind of reminded me this, uh, how ancient sunsets are. And it was just uh, this, little, um, this little girl. These are 
drawings that Madonna does, and she draws little girls' books, writes books, and does all the illustrations. So I've cut these out to to play with, and um, she just looks like she's in a in a sun and, and glowing, and she looks like she's fainting from the dazzling sunrise. Anyway, so that that was uh, that was that day. And uh, the second week of the challenge, July, January 11th. And this was the third week of the challenge. This has nothing to do with me. <laughs> but I, um, I wanted to do a... Um, uh, this, this was me last year. <laughs> and I, I planted bulbs and they grew green, but they didn't ever grow the flower. So I didn't buy any this year, but I wish I had when I saw this in my uh, Daphne's Diary. So anyway, I pulled out some Daphne's Diary uh, images. These two, the So Simple, this is uh, the background and a border. I just love the little picket fence. And that was January 18th. And so tomorrow, well today I was supposed to do another one, but I got so involved in my, um, am I, am, I might be too behind. <laughs> Um, yeah, because I, I, I'm not doing the 1st of February yet. I still have the last week in January to do. So, anyway, so I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do that one, and you'll see it next time. That was my reason for buying this book, because this is the book that, I'll put a link it below, uh, to the channel that I'm following. Because right now, on the spur of the moment, and it's late at night, <laughs> her name is Barbie, but I can't think of her channel name. So anyway, so uh, I decided to do that. And then for the other challenge, which is another one Barbie was doing, and I did not realize, I, I looked everywhere, I got kind of behind, I looked everywhere for the for the uh, prompts. I knew this was a prompt one. The other one is not a prompt one. The other one is just just to play. And uh, But this one has prompts. And this one is from Marguerite Miller. And she does a collage challenge. And she, I didn't realize that you had to buy the, buy the um, prompts. So the first three that I did I, I think they are all on my YouTube shorts with music and, and all that, and they're kind of fun. Um, but uh, it's just a, it's just a one page, a one page challenge, and then this page is just covered up. And then I am going to keep my my, my challenges here, but this is the challenge. Uh, something associated with water, which um, I have the um, the watering can, a portion or a poem, a brother sister um, kind of poem because my uh, four oldest grandchildren are each they each are brother sister teams. Um, the youngest one is just a brother, but you know I'm hoping that someday a sister will come along. Um, but anyway, and then I use this picture for brother sister, um, because that's kind of a sibling rivalry picture. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so this is the, the poem about brothers and sisters and you use pattern paper, which I use. These are all, uh, from Daphne's diary. Um, something that's usually kept cold is fruits and vegetables. Actually, though, if I look, I mean, carrots and cucumbers are, but not tomatoes. Tomatoes, you're not supposed to keep them cold. A light shade of blue, and so I use that, and then I didn't use, didn't do the bonus. There's always a bonus. So that was the first one I did, and I, um, this is how I did it. I, I, I just wrote them all out, but then I realized that people are going to be upset with me um, who are watching these because I do use the hashtag and I haven't bought the prompts. So uh, I decided, since I'd already gone in three weeks on this, that I would buy the prompts. It was not much, $8, I think, for 
a whole year's worth of prompts and then you get to participate and so that uh, that's fun it was just something i wanted to do i don't i'm not even sure why i never even watched marguerite miller but Barbie was doing them, and I thought, oh, that would be fun. And I just kind of was doing them without really thinking. That's a whole year's project. So anyway, so um, that's why I have this book, because there's more than a year's worth of pages. I'll have to be taking out pages. Okay, <laughs> this is all more than what you really want to know. Um, but I'm kind of outlining for you. I think I told you I was going to do... Um, a scavenger hunt but I've decided no I'm not gonna do the scavenger hunt because scavenger hunt takes way too much time way too much time to search for the items I can never find the items and it gets very frustrating and very long and I started to do it and I thought ah I'm just I, I don't think I can do it so I'm scrapping the scavenger hunt and i'm going with uh this with the collage because the the this collage with the prompts are easier for me to find because i don't have to find specific things i don't have to find a piano i get you know something musical i can use anything and so that's why it's easier using prompts rather than having a very specific item to find for me other people they might you know be able to come up with things that they've already uh, they've already gotten out. Now wait a minute. Now this is this yeah this is number two. Okay, um, the, there's an object with a jewelry or adornment. So I use the basket and look, I cut out all the little uh, in betweens, and you can see that they're they're all cut out. Uh, a light source you find interesting, which is, of course, the chandelier. Something stapled, so I had to staple. I put the bride and groom together because I I sliced the bride's arm there and put the groom, put his arm around her, so I put them together. But to keep it that way, I put the staple in. Uh, something found in a garden, which is... Uh, a greenhouse which has a very nice straight roof but because I put this this plant here it curves and it makes like the roof is caving in <laughs> but that's the plant not the greenhouse um, and then a receipt which I didn't do because I thought it uh, didn't fit in anywhere so I did the bonus instead the black ink stamping so that's the congratulations, the little fun border and uh, here because I'm not really good at stamping. So that was uh, quite a challenge for me. And then over here, I have a very cute little poem about um, you. I love you, my darling. I know you love me too. We've been together years and I'm so happy with you. So anyway, um, I thought that was very, very nice. So this was the third week's challenge. And I, um, I used one of my green, if you notice, my green vellum um, envelopes. And this, like I say, this is the empty page. This is the page that I do the collage on. Okay, uh, something you take on a picnic. So I have the little girl with a picnic basket and I uh, put her a little bit behind the lamp uh, because she's on the wall, but the lamp covers up some of it. And then I tacked her on the wall with my own um, washi tape. An image from a magazine. An image from a magazine. Oh, that's the background. The background is the image. Um, and that's a, again from Daphne's diary, uh, text other than English or your native language. So other than English would be, um, Chinese and I have a book of Chinese. So, uh, anytime I do foreign things, um, I, I'm getting rid of all my other books with the other languages. So I'm, and I'll run across different languages and other things, but I don't need whole books in foreign languages. <laughs> so I'm getting rid of all those. But I'm just keeping my Chinese one because I like it. 
um, I like how it looks. So that's that, and then you had to do something torn, so I tore it, and then I put it up there. And I was going to put a little dot to show it was pinned, like a, like a little pin, but I haven't done that yet. Something you'd place on a bookshelf, and I put the stack of books here, and the glasses were already there, but I put I cut around the glasses and I put the books behind the glasses so you can see through the glasses and see the stack of books. And then um, something found in a school bag. I, I went ahead and uh, decided that the glasses would be something you'd find in a school bag or the uh, laptop. So anyway, uh, so that's that's my challenge. Um, and I have one more to do for January. And then I will probably show you, um, like the month of February, the last of January and then the month of February, because I'll try and only do a collage once, um, once every, um, few weeks. Now, another thing I have started that this is just for fun, just for fun. And it's, um, it's an anything book. Let me bring this up a little bit more. Okay, it's an anything book. And to me, this is just going to be very relaxing. Uh, Caroline on the hillside is the one that does this. That's her channel. And I somebody recommended that I go and look at it because it was really neat. And I did, and I liked it, and I thought, oh, that would be so fun. And the way this works, and I haven't put it in yet, what I did is I had a magazine that was already folded, ready to be used another way. But I needed a big magazine, and I didn't want to use any of the other uh, large magazines I had. But you want a nice big magazine so you have lots of images, lots of space for images. And you... Um, let me see if I can let me see if I can grab some images just to show you. On this page, which I haven't done yet, is going to be the key. The key is going to be like number one might be fairies, which I haven't decided yet. Number two might be clocks or timepieces. Number three might be whatever. Um so it's kind of like a, um, it's a, um, on mass journal, which is something I've always wanted to make, but I found it too hard. I found it almost like a scavenger hunt hard because every time I found an image, I didn't have a page for that. So it was just too hard. I didn't have a page for it. So when I saw this, I thought, oh, this is great. Now, for example, I've got this picture of a fairy. And I can, I can choose. I can put this fairy under the letter F for fairy. I'm going to have one of those numbered pages be fairies which I might even do the very front page just because I, I like fairies so much. Um, and so then I would put it under number number one for fairies. Or I also have color pages in here and I can put it under yellow. And I don't have a gold page, but I could take one of the numbers and change one of the numbers to a color, or I could choose one of the numbers. Um, I think I have up to number 12. I've got 12 numbers. So the, the numbers can, um, the numbers can be a color, but I'm, I'm doing colors, numbers. I really want them to be images and this can be yellow doesn't have to be gold. I don't have to have that many different things. But so I would cut this out and then I would choose where I might put it. And no matter what image you have, 
you can find a spot for it in the Anything Goes uh, on Mass journal. So I'm really excited about starting this. For this one, for example, let's see. Um, I'm not going to, I think I'm going to cut out this, the, this one. And I'm going to put it under the letter F because I have an F there. So this fairy is going to go underneath the letter F. Then, let's see. I'm also going to remind myself to use something to glue on. But let me first find F. Okay, there we are. Oh, there we are. F. No, is that F? No, that's page six. <laughs> uh, I did these in order. This is F. Okay, so. So I would just glue this. And I'm going to put it right up here for the letter F. And then... Any, all the F things that I find, like, um, oh, uh, let's say filament or, um, like if I had a light bulb, I might use, I might put it under L for light bulb. I might put it under Y, for, I mean white. Um, oh, I don't have a white. I might put it under W for white, or I could put it under um, uh, light bulbs if I have a category of light bulbs or and it sounds very complicated it wasn't it wasn't really too hard to do let's see here is a flower so it's already cut out so let me also put this now I am probably going to have I am the messiest gluer I am probably going to have a flower page but I can still put this under F for flower because or I could put it under yellow for um, for the color and um, I don't even have to worry about gluing down all of the corners as much as um, you might think because because um, I'm going to glue things all around the outside of it. So here is a let me find out I, I've been changing things around and I've got my waste basket over here now when it was over there okay now this is under rainbow it could go under C for chairs L for lounge chairs let me see where my rainbow page is and here we are, rainbow. Rainbow, which turned out, uh, look at that, that's already rainbow, and I'm going to keep that image. But I'm going to put this right down here. Let's get something else to glue on. I really do want to try and be neater with my gluing, but old habits die hard okay so I'm gonna put these down here 
and I'm not even going to worry about making it a, a great collage because it doesn't matter where anything is because it's going to be covered over the whole way. Now, I could also put these stamps as a rainbow because they're all different colors. I could put it under S for stamps, P for postage, M for mail, but I'm going to do S for stamps. And I don't have very many. I have this P for pocket. And what I've been trying to do, what I did today is I took, I had a whole, I had a, you know, a, a stack of papers and I really want to cover up some of the more unsavory pictures here in, um, and pages in uh, Rolling Stone magazine. So I've, um, I've put, I put these uh, star pages on, S for stars, oops. These glue things have never hardened up. They were the worst glue I've ever had. Okay, I'm going to put those up there. S for stamps because, oh, <laughs> I am doomed. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, so anyway, I have some stars on there. What else did I grab? I grabbed this. This is P for poinsettia. And I stamped this and colored it five years ago. And I've never sent it out or done anything with it. So, I'm going to just stick it in that pocket. I'm not going to glue it down. I'm going to stick it in that pocket just because... I should, I could glue it down. I should glue it down. But just when I turned this page, I thought, oh, that's great. Now, uh, a pocket is perfect for that. Now, like I say, some of these pictures are pretty bad. And wouldn't that have been nice to be a purple page? But, um, but no. But anyway, I put these papers over the aqua page. And then I can just glue all my aqua um, pictures over that. But that's just going to be my background. But I did that, and I did uh, some other pages here. But some, oh, this is one. When I printed out my Marguerite Miller prompts, this is the how it printed. And I thought, oh, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm really bad at downloading. I don't really understand how to download and print. See, there's so many really ugly pictures here, so... I really don't want to keep looking at the ugly pictures. So here's E for elephant. I, I happen to have that. Uh, D for dog. <laughs> I put it over the lady's face. Um, here's blue. I used blue. Oh, and I think I did, uh, did one of those under you. Oh, there's the, the whales on that one picture. So I chose the W page. The U I did T U for universe. But again, that's the background. I'm just going to glue right over it. Uh, some of the pages that I had turned, I had already glued them. And uh, so when I took them apart, they left a lot of. Um, and then this one I'd even glued some stuff on. So, I don't know. It's a, it's, it's rough. It's rough when this is first starting. But anyway, I think this is going to be a very fun, um, 
very fun and very relaxing. This is going to be en masse and it's going to be all filled up and hopefully it will be something that will take me at least a year to do. So we'll see. The challenge will probably come as some of these pages are all filled up. When I find images, uh, I'll, I'll have to be more creative about figuring out where they can go if they don't go in the obvious place. Here's B for beach. Um, and then red, a red background I used here. So that's what I'm doing. This is Rolling Stone issue. I mean, it's not a bad magazine. It's just not pretty pictures. They're rough. This is July, August, 2021. Uh, they're just rough, rough pictures. And so, but it's a nice size. I have quite a few images that are a whole page that I didn't want to cut up. So they would make great backgrounds. So that's what I'm going to try and do before I really start just adding stuff like this. I put P for peace on here. Anyway, you guys um, get the, and, and I will put a link to how she explained it in case that's something that you want to do. And um, I also covered up the cover of the Rolling Stone magazine with this image that I really liked. So now if I can find my glue lid, here we go. Uh, this is a long enough video and I explained to you some of my collage work that I've been doing. I also have two other books to show you. So my word of the year for 2024 is going to be collage and just about everything I do is going to be collage. Now I am going to start my new Chunky Junkie because I have a lot of things that are not just images. So I have to have a junk journal. But other than that, I'm going to stick with collage this year and, and watercolor. Watercolor is another thing I'm going to be working on. That's another video. <laughs> okay. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.